my background sucks look at this it's just a green screen that's like literally laying over some palettes so today i'm going to walk you through and show you how you can change your background for either your youtube channel or your online classrooms into something way cooler and it's free and it uses ai by the way, if you've never been here before, my name is Jillian and on this channel, I help online teachers earn an income by finding their own private independent students. If that's something that you want to learn more about, make sure you click subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to this site, leonardo.ai, and you'll go to create an account. When you create your free account, you can sign up using Apple, Google, Microsoft, or just your email and password. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google. Then it's going to have you pick your username. I'm going to choose, what do I like to do? I'll just do other in education and next. I'm going to skip this, but you can check out this too. So now we're going to go into image generation. And there's a lot here that you can do, but I'm going to show you how to do it this way. And then you're going to type in a prompt. So, so this is what it came up with. So these are my backgrounds that I can use for my YouTube setup. And for my prompt, I just said, create me a virtual background for a YouTube studio using RGB lighting. That's red, green, blue. I, it should be RGB. Um, a bookshelf with some tech props on the left hand and a computer desk in the back. Okay, maybe I am teaching preschool students and I want something bright and colorful in the back. So I'm just gonna click on this one, generate this. All right, so here is my background with my unicorns. Okay, so these are the results that it gave us for a classroom. So I can use one of these as a classroom background. Now, another thing that you can do is you can actually come over here and it uses more credits, but you can come over here and you can do real photo, which is going to come off as a real picture. So let's see what it comes out when it. I want to make it look more realistic than it already is. So here we go. I don't like the ones that have words on them, but this one's not super bad. So if you don't know what you want to put in for your prompt, you can actually come over here to prompt generation. And I just put in here a YouTube studio background. And here you see a vibrant and modern YouTube studio background with a sleek and futuristic design and featuring neon lights and holographic displays. These are, these are something here. <laughs> I'm not quite sure uh, how I feel about these. These are these are pretty bright. Um, I guess this one isn't super bad, um, but I'm not totally feeling it. I'm not totally digging it. But um, yeah, so that's how you can you can create this. I'm going to do the same prompt generation, but I'm going to prompt to create a background for a virtual classroom for children. So this is a cozy and inviting atmosphere for your virtual classroom with a background that resembles a warm and welcoming living room complete with a fireplace bookshelves and comfortable seating this actually might work for a youtube video so we'll do that too and then after this we'll do a christmas background as well so this is the background that they gave us for that and i'm going to go through and i'm going to do one more oh this one's fun a whimsical whimsical Oh, which one do I want? I'm going to do this one with a whimsical Christmas background featuring a magical winter wonderland with a sparkling ice castle, flying reindeer, and a sleigh filled with presents. So this would be a really cool background that you could use for a holiday. And this is a really, I mean, it's it's way cooler and easier and they look nicer than the Canva backgrounds that you can make sometimes. Here's the magic. I can turn my virtual background into this or this or maybe even this. If this video was helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys all later.